Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. I'm Daniel. He's in a bad mood. I'm right now, I just got a little punchy. You know what'll put you in a good mood? Dirty Helen. You know why? Why? Because she's dirty. So dirty. And she's also Helen. A gift. Oh. From <laughs> Andrew McGow and Meg Strobel. Andrew McGow and Meg Strobel, you magnificent. Bastard. <laughs> So this is... You think she's dirty enough for you? She's Helen enough. This is Milwaukee. Is she dirty enough? This is Milwaukee whiskey. Oh. Milwaukee, Wisconsin. They grow them dirty in Milwaukee. So the last three days we've been living in like the upper Midwest. Mm -hmm. Dirty Helen, there's a book that came out on her. She's... So she's a real she person. She was a real person oh. and she was saucy. Was she, so she, she was dirty? Oh yeah. Okay. She was named Dirty Helen because of her dirty mouth. <laughs> she cut. She had. She used to brag. She could outcuss anybody who would walk into her bar. Okay. She may or may not have turned tricks. Worked with Al Capone. Oh, all right. Died in the '60s. Okay. This is 69% corn, 19% <laughs> barley, and 12% rye. There's more barley than rye. How much corn? 69% corn. It's, it's dirty Helen. We have to. It's dirty Helen. She would appreciate it. <laughs> she would roll over in her grave. And high five us both. Get flipped. <laughs> Wait, hold on a second. Was she face down? I don't know why she would roll <laughs> over. Because she's going to high five us. She's got to be right side up. Yeah. So she must she, have been face down. No, she did a barrel roll. <laughs> and then high five oh, us. Oh, so like a complete. Yeah, 360. Okay. Wouldn't that get a good joke? I don't know if it's 360. They only. <laughs> 180 tops. This is. Only two barrels at a time. 63% alcohol. Oh, wow. Okay. Barrel strength straight bourbon. Uh, I'm getting some vanilla. There's a dark, bitter chocolate note in this thing that's freaking me out. Okay. Yeah, it is. Like, it's like a high, dark, high uh, cacao percent dark chocolate. Okay. Like 80 plus percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? That 63%. You can't have 63% without that alcohol starting to creep out in the nose there. You are getting... Just alcohol on the nose, but it's not overwhelming. Uh, vanilla, you say a dark bitter chocolate on the nose there. It tastes, it smells almost smoky. Okay. It's so dark and so like toasted. Oh, toasted. You know toasted. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like toasted grain type of stuff. Yeah. Once again, a bourbon that does not mm. taste like bourbon. It tastes like a weird malt. Wow, the toastiness. Yeah. What's going on? Very, very toasty grains. Dude, this is not a bourbon. I mean, it is legally. Right. That's a lot of corn. But this is... But I'm not getting... An American toasted malt. Malt, yeah. I'm not getting corn. I'm getting heavily toasted malty notes. That's bizarre. And the alcohol ding, right? Yeah. Because there is... On a, a little finish, on a finish, you do get some of that hotness. But those flavors are keeping up. Man, I would never enter this into a bourbon category. I mean, legally, you have to, but... But it would compete, it would lose a bourbon competition for being so much of an outlier. Mm -hmm. But if you were somehow able to enter this into mm. an American craft malt, I went, it would probably kick ass. I went back and it gave me a graham cracker, like uh, some honey, and then again that toasted graininess. But again, oh, there it is. Okay. If you add a little water, yeah. it returns and to that, its bourbon I, I corn roots. I keep finding roots. vanilla on the nose and not on the taste. Wait until you add a little water. Hold on, I want one more. All right. That brings it back to vanilla on the taste. Okay. And then the bourbon shows up. But at high proof, I like it. I'm not thinking of it as a bourbon. No, I'm thinking again. I'm of, of a very high proof malt whiskey. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah, water, the vanilla shows up. It's 63%, right? That has a lot of room to play with the water and, and the proof. Uh, but I like it better out of the bottle at 63% because eventually I get to this graham cracker note and I love the hell out of that note. What'd you pull? This is the Hudson single malt from New York. York. Yeah. Yeah, it's closer to this than it is to a bourbon. That's bizarre. I can't do that. Can you do the... Uh, Yes, I can. Ready? Wow. Try that Hudson. Oh. 
though. That's yeah. craft malt, right? Yeah, yeah. That's kind of green. Yeah, yeah. Very grainy. I like the Helen better. Me too, but I mean, remember, they're not the same thing. But right. you see how what we're drinking is closer to a craft malt mm -hmm. in its presence before you add water than it is to a craft bourbon or even a big brand bourbon. I like it better without the water. Yeah, me too. The water just takes the sweetness and just makes just it gonna... a simple sugar. Big Wheels 80, can anyone tell me the names of the songs and artists that are used in the Whiskey Tribe videos? I brought this up because we get this comment constantly on the YouTube channel. Right. But aren't they in the description? On YouTube, there are a bunch of no copyright music artists. There they are musicians that make songs that are specifically no copyright songs. And uh, you can search on YouTube, no copyright music, and you'll have like uh, DJ Quads is the one that we use over and over again. Mm. Um, uh, Joaquim Girud, mispronouncing the name is another one. Uh, more and more we've been doing they often Epidemic Sounds. Epidemic Sounds, there's, there's um, I think, musicbed.com, there's uh, artlist.io, there's, there's different companies that's, that have sprung up that have a collection of music, and for a monthly subscription, um, you can use any one of these songs, and they're never gonna get claimed because right. the artists have worked out to deal with them. So we're using that more and more. Uh, but again, don't ever ask me about production stuff because I will ruin the episode. No, not <laughs> every once in a while, people want to know these. Okay, things. all right, fine. All right, all right. right. The, the the sausage factory. There's one other long comment. Welcome to the video well, sausage we factory. Yeah. Right. Duhan Patterson. Greetings, Rex and Daniel. I'm an NB from Australia, and I have a question. My incredible girlfriend has organized a trip to Melbourne this month for us to attend a Japanese whiskey tasting master class. Mm -hmm. I'm still fairly new to whiskey, but I've been watching you guys for a couple of years, and I'm training myself to get past the alcohol to enjoy the beauty that is the whiskey. I really enjoy bourbons, Eagle Rare, Blanton's, Jack Daniels, Willet, Buffalo Trace, Maker's Mark, etc. Uh, I've tried a okay. variety of bourbons, and I'm developing a palate. My question is, what should I do, and how do I prepare to get the most out of the Japanese Masterclass experience? How do you get the most out of any tasting experience? Right. Is walk in with no ego, mm -hmm. listen, and listen to the people around you talk about whiskey, because you're going to, you're more likely to learn from the instructors and the other people yeah. than you are from objectively arriving at an analysis all by yourself. Mm -hmm. Before you've built up the patterns to right. understand whiskey or to describe whiskey, right. you have to rely on people's power of suggestion to reference things and you go, yeah, I do get that. So. Walk in with humility and you'll be fine. And relax, right? Yeah, there's, just, there's not gonna be- No one cares. You're not gonna get embarrassed, right? There's not gonna be like, no. you're not tasting the right way. No. Be gone, you pleb. You'll be fine. This was- It's, it's unique. So, what, and I was saying, surprisingly better than I expected. I know. Like the name like Dirty Helen, mm -hmm. it's kind of like a really colorful backstory in this character and you're just gonna throw whatever in the bottle because it's the, 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 the personality and the, the identity that they're leaning on. No, it's a legitimately really nice, mm -hmm. interesting whis whiskey. Incredibly high proof. I get that graham cracker flavor after acclimating Still like it to, better, high proof. to a bunch of things. I get that graham cracker. Did mm -hmm. you ever get the graham cracker? No, I never got to the graham cracker. That's why I'm better than you. Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. <laughs> if you fight, may you fight for a friend. If you steal, me, you steal your liver sorry. And if you drink, may, may you, you drink, drink with us.